Welcome to Urban Upgrade. Over the next 13 shows, we're involved in a very exciting project. We're gonna take this living room in an urban condo and convert it into a state-of-the-art digital living room. Far more than a home theater. We're not just incorporating video and television. We need to incorporate internet, gaming, and audio into this system. So we have quite a challenge because we have to build a system that fits a budget, that fits a physical space, and fits a lifestyle. So it's all gonna begin with the display. We have to determine the size and the technology behind our display and how it's gonna install. So I got a lot of research to do. I'm here at London Drugs with my AV expert, Frankie. Frankie, we're trying to set up this wonderful digital living room in a condo. So I guess the first decision we have to make is what type of TV, and what size of TV, and what technology of TV. H how do we make that decision? Well, it'll be uh, the lighting condition, how much ambient light is coming in, and also viewing distance from the TV. Okay, well the room itself is about 14 by 14. Okay. They're gonna be sitting about 10 feet away from the TV, so what does that give us for size? So a minimum 42 inch to 50. Okay, well the homeowner doesn't want it to dominate the room, they want the room to be multi-purpose. So 42 inch plus it's gonna be a better that's price. Right. That's the break between LCD and plasma as that's well, right. I guess. So how do we choose as far as that goes? That's, I guess, lighting. Lighting, yeah. So the we've got north facing windows, a lot of windows, but there is a nice awning that shades it quite nicely, good blinds, plus they typically watch TV at night. They don't watch a lot during the daytime. Okay. So as far as technology goes, I would uh, recommend a plasma. Okay, now, in what case would you recommend an LCD? An LCD if you've got an extremely bright room where mm -hmm. there's a lot of light coming in, you know, and also ambient light. So that's that extra punch from the LCD helps. Exactly. But all things being equal? Plasma. You guys like yeah. plasma. Yeah. Okay, the next question we have is mounting it. Can we wall mount it or are we gonna have to put it onto a cabinet piece of furniture? You could wall mount it, but there are a couple of issues with mm -hmm. that. It's, uh, you need to find out uh, what kind of studs are in the wall. Okay, this is an older building, so I imagine it's wood studs, but if it was a newer building with metal studs, that causes a problem? That's an issue because the metal studs are quite thin, mm -hmm. so if you put a articulating arm on the TV... You it don't have the strength to strength. hold it, so exactly. that's an issue there. What about electrical? The boxes are on either side, nothing directly underneath where the TV is going to be. If you need to move electrical or put low voltage, you need a, a permit from the city. That's right, a lot, of, a lot of municipalities require permits even for low voltage speaker that's wire right. being run. Yeah. So probably for in this case, we're going to be better off with a cabinet. Now if we want a cabinet that's not a standard stereo cabinet but a piece of furniture, what height and what depth should it be? Uh, the height, uh, anywhere from 24 to 30 inches high. Okay. And the depth, I would say a minimum of 20 inches. That deep, eh? Because the components are only about 15, 12 to 15 inches. They are, but you also have to be very careful because the plugs also add about two inches. Okay, yeah. and plus those yeah. HDMI cables and stuff are very stiff. Exactly. So you need a, so you need a lot of room that's right. to work them through. So we're gonna be looking at a 42 inch display that's gonna be on a pedestal. So what's gonna be your recommendation? I would recommend the Panasonic 42 PZ80. Okay. And that's it's been extremely good for us. So that's your recommendation. We're going to go with the Panasonic 42-inch plasma. That's good. Okay, next time we're going to be looking at audio systems, which is going to be a bigger challenge than choosing the TV, I think, but Frankie will see us through.